Honest, Jay Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to HGN, the legacy of supers. Because now, I've talked about the Incredibles, a group of heroes, but now comes another one, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yep. Of course, they're not entirely known as the superheroes, they're just a set of ninjas. As the name implies, they're Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the teenage part being, well, they seem adolescent. The mutant part being that they were mutated from a secret sort of ooze. Ninja for the part that, well, they know a lot about ninjutsu and the fact that they're also named after renaissance artists. And turtles being that, well, quite obviously they're turtles. Just mutated from ooze. To appear more human-like. So who would have thought that a concept like that would become such a big success? Well, simply put... The mid to late 80s with the comic books and eventually the cartoon in 87, which carried on all the way through to 1996. Yeah, apparently that's how long the original cartoon had lasted. But in between it all, there were a lot of other things that came around as well, including the live action Turtles trilogy films from 1990 to 1993. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1, 2, and 3. Of course, they were pretty awesome films at the time, but I will say for sure that if there's a few pieces of media in general that I know best about the Ninja Turtles, then well, other than the original cartoon from 87, then well, it'd be the 2003 Four Kids series, which was supervised by Konami. Yeah. Apparently Konami had gotten a hold of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series, and the Four Kids group was actually able to license them and make it into their own little program that would eventually die out because the 4Kids group would eventually become liquidated, of course. I especially remember the 4Kids group being an enormous success at the time because they were just a big empire collecting as many franchises as possible. I especially remember that they also managed to get a hold of Sonic the Hedgehog around the same time. And that's how Sonic X came to be around the same time in 2003. But compared to that, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by the 4Kids group, it would appear in 2003 as well, but it would actually carry on all the way through to 2010. Yeah. That's how long that cartoon carried on as well. But hey, the 4Kids series was definitely one that I recognized the most. And well, that was because the 4Kids group was around during most of my childhood, and the fact that they were able to get a hold of a lot of franchises at the time, it was just astounding to see that at the time, a small group would become an astounding success and would achieve a massive cult following to this day. Yeah, after at least 10 years now, who would have thought that they'd still be remembered a lot? Well, anyone who's seen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2003, or Sonic X, or many of the other franchises that 4Kids was able to get a hold of as well. Well, anyways, apart from all that, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise itself is still going immensely strong, with a huge collection of video games, other comic books and the like, plus an anomaly of gigantic feature films and other series that would come around especially here in the 2010s. We would then get a 2012 cartoon that would then become owned by Nickelodeon. Yeah, Nickelodeon is now the official owner of the series. As strange as it sounds, it's just that awesome. Well anyways, to this day we still are going to expect a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles related media to come around every now and then. And considering how we have new feature films now, from 2014 and 2016, and we might get another feature film later on. If it doesn't come any sooner, then who knows how long it could take then. But anyways, Raphael, Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, plus Master Sprinter and Shredder. 
yeah, just thought I'd make a little quick highlight in case anyone did not know what they were. So, anyways, if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.